Hi there! In today's video we're going to explore H5P's Akamoto feature. This feature allows you to create interactive image comparisons, giving you many options for your uh, content. With Agamotto you can uh, show visual transformations and uh, explain the different uh, educational concepts, compare products and uh, even uh, create an interactive uh, storytelling experiences. So let's get started. Uh, one way to use Agamotto is uh, before and after comparison. This is perfect for showing visual transformations or changes over time. Now, for example, imagine you would like to demonstrate the effect of image editing, uh, home renovations or development uh, projects. And uh, with Agamotto you can easily do it. Another way of using is uh, for visual illustration of uh, various educational concepts. Let's say you want to teach about the effect of pollution on a natural environment or the impact of historical events on the landscapes. When you explain different concepts using a visually engaging tools, it is more likely that your learners will grasp the concept more effectively. And finally, you can incorporate Agamotto in, the, in your stories to reveal uh, hidden elements or show a uh, character's transformation and development. So um, basically, by sliding between two or more images that represent different uh, stages, you can engage your audience with a visual journey. So uh, let's see how to use it by creating an example. Just a heads up, uh, whenever you are creating uh, a content, it is important important that you have all your materials ready. We are now on my working area. Here we are adding activity or resource, uh, choosing uh, H5P interaction, sorting from A to Z, and I choose Agamotto Image Blender. Once it's there, let's expand the page. The title will be the transformation of a caterpillar. Uh, heading will be the same. Here you choose the pictures just uh, for your information. I have already everything ready. So let's go. The first I'm gonna choose um, image and I choose the phase one and as an alternative text I'll put the A. With the label and the hover text I'll show you their functions later on. So for the next one I go and choose my the second phase and this is the stage of larva. Then I choose the third stage and then fourth phase and I just realized that I forgot to add here the text which is pupa and the fourth is butterfly. Yeah basically that's it and I am proceeding to save and saving and displaying. Okay, so we can see that it's already here. Uh, we click on it to see how it looks like. So this is how we see it. And when we move our hover, we can see the smooth transformation at every stage. Well, I told you that I'm gonna show with the hover text and the label later on, so this is the time. If we add some text on the hover text part, we'll be able to see the description when we hover on the picture. Then label will show on the screen what does it say. So for example, here I'll add egg and then I'll add um, the hover text. You can also do the description part, for example, you can add this um, text here. I'll do it like this so we'll be able to see the end result. Save and proceed. Save and return to the course. So um, we added the text in the hover text. So the result will be like this. When you hover on the picture, you see the information. We added the same text into the description box and that you can see here. And we also labeled and when you label you see items like this and you can click on them and see the results. And with the cover text again when we hover the mouse on the image we can see the brief description or the text. Here we go. Hope this uh, video was useful and informative. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and share in the comments how would you use Agamotto in your course. Thanks for watching and until next time.